Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. Thank you guys for tuning in. It is greatly appreciated as always. As you can see by the title, we're back with my Teen Mom series. And I'm super excited to be back. So y'all, it is officially winter inside the game. So I'm super excited about that because you know that means Christmas and New Year's is coming up. And I'm super excited about Christmas in this household because... I really want to make this a fun and enjoyable Christmas for Raven and the boys. So I'm just super excited for that. So we did a little bit of Christmas decorating thus far. Let me show you guys. I know you guys see the matching PJs. I think that was a base game update. And they just looked too adorable. So I had to get the PJs. Um, I believe this is um, right now Raven is playing with um, Mason. They're playing. It's Monday morning. Um, everyone is feeling pretty good for the most part. Um, we do have some little pictures on the wall that we got from um, Hobby Lobby. It says, um, let's say, Holly, Holly Jolly, a very Merry Christmas and Sweet Christmas. What I thought was super cute. We got these bowls on the stairway when you walk in. We have this beautiful entryway rug. And we also have a bow on the front door. And we also have a tree as well. It's not decorated yet, but we're going to get to it. We do have a tree. I'm super excited about that. I think everything else is pretty much the same. We do have some garland on the, um, uh, what's it called? Um, can't think what this table is called. Coffee table. We got a garland on the, um, TV in the island. And we also have a garland on the dining room table. And I also put some little decor out here in the, um, front yard. So when you come out, we have, um, some, uh, reefs on the windows. We also have a reef and a bow on the door as well as a new doormat. And then we also have, um, some lights on the railing of the, um, yeah, the steps. And we also added a little slide and um, ramp out here. And we put the boys' basketball court out here because we needed space for the actual Christmas tree. See, right now we plan with our baby. Um, it's Right now it's 519. Um, it's almost time for her, Raven to get the boys ready for school and for her to get ready for school as well. But we're just feeling super happy this morning. Um... We've have had an absolutely excellent meal, good company, nothing tying me down, feeling happy, and she just feel refreshed. She, she still feel refreshed from their camping trip, and I am here for it. So we actually, um, I have on matching PJs. Um, I think, like I said, it was a base game a date, and I thought they were just super cute. So we got the boys and Raven and matching outfits. Um, also, y'all, Raven has actually been, um, she's actually been talking to. You. A little somebody on um social bunny let me actually go to open social bunny up so i can show you him he's super super cute his name is rylan and um yeah this is him right here i'm not sure we can see his profile picture on this let me go ahead and just show you guys in her relationship status because they got a little relationship bar because they've been talking for a couple like a couple days now and she's feeling him so he actually wants to take her out on a date but we'll get into that in just a second but as far as we know he is super romantic and he's cheerful just based off conversation um they're social bunny friends and you know they met through social bunny through social media so yeah so this is Ryland. he's a teen as well and Raven is most definitely interested. She's a teen, so she definitely wants to put herself out there and date, you know. Relationships haven't really worked in her favor as far as up until now, but, you know, she's open to love and meeting new people and dating all types of people. So, he actually has, he wanted to take us to um, our favorite restaurant this evening after class, which is the Cheesecake Factory. So, we're going to go there and, you know, grab a bite to eat and just have a good old time. And I am so here for that. So, I can't wait for that. We do have a tree. Um, we actually need to add something on it. So, let's go ahead and add some garland on it. Let's do some popcorn and cranberries, red and gold ribbon. Let's do that and see how it come out. Um, the boys are up. They just, um, you know, just playing and things like that. Where is she putting him? Oh, she's going to go talk to him. What is she doing? Oh, she's going to go talk. So let's go ahead and um, do the tree. Let's put on some cute little music. It's 6.02 in the morning. Oh, I think there's a hug going on. Oh, a little snuggle. 
That is too cute. Y'all, Raven is so cute. Y'all see she got her bob back. Yes, we got our bob back. I know we, we started this LP with our bob, but we had to get it back. Absolutely so crazy how fast the boys are actually growing. Like, I just can't believe it. Like, they're growing. They're too. Like, it's so crazy. So, we're going to go ahead and add the garlic. I do want to um play some little holiday music. Let's go ahead and do that. You know, Raven loves Christmas. It's her favorite holiday. So why not put some um, winter holiday music on? Let's go ahead and change volume, okay, to high. All right, we got a little nutcracker right here as well. So we're just right now, the boys are just talking. Oh, Let's come over here and they're just talking and stuff. He's actually watching Raven. Let Mason come. Oh, he's already set in. Come sit and let's come and talk to your brother. Let's um, let's do some deep thoughts, ask about the world, and let's also uh, let's make funny faces. You know, brothers talk and tell a goofy story. Let's go ahead and do that. Right now, Raven is feeling good. She's like, yeah. So she said, "What well, mommy doing right now? We're putting on the garland on the tree." Cause we love Christmas time, okay? We putting garlic on the tree on a Monday morning before school. It can't get no better than that. It cannot get no better than that. Oh, look at them talking, watching their mommy. Look at them, y'all, they PJs. Look at them, they so happy. <laughs> look at them. Too freaking cute, y'all. I'm gonna forever be in love with Mason and Case, and I feel like even when they get older, like, you know? So after that, I think mom's gonna take um, them up, change their outfits one by one. Let's go ahead and change um, Mason's outfit, and we're gonna change Kason's outfit as well. Cause we need to um, get ready for school. School starts with Raven in an hour, which we already know. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I might just. Oop, let's see. Will she have time to? I guess she changing Mason. We're gonna go ahead and change Kason's. So, I don't know. So, Raven actually started taking a dance class in school as well. And I think that um, we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to just change that outfit this way because we don't have time to do it the other way. Let's reset. Let's go ahead and change that outfit this way because we don't have time for to do it the other way. And we're going to go ahead and change our outfit today. We got a cute little outfit. I'm really here for it. Yeah, I'm so excited for Christmas, New Year's. I'm excited for prom. I'm excited for it all. For it all. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get a picture of... Wait, Mason didn't change his outfit. Don't we look cute, y'all? We look so cute. It's cold as shit outside. We got on a crop top. We're going to put on my coat, though. We're going to put on my coat. Y'all know. We're going to definitely put on my coat. Okay, so did you change? Okay, they both changed. Okay. I wonder if Mama could take a picture of them. They also, I also want to get them to let them take pictures with Santa. And I also want to, um, don't we have a camera here somewhere? Okay, also, um, take family Christmas pictures. Take photo, uh, I also want to take them one at a time. Okay. I figured, let me see if I put the tripod up. Will let me take a picture of everybody. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put this up. Let's try it this way. Take picture of. All right. Let's see if this way will work. Let's try it this way. Yes. Let's turn this off because we can't ready to go to school. Did she? Oh, we did put the garland on. Okay. I wasn't sure if we did or not, but we did. Okay. It's coming together. Got a little garlic on it. We'll finish decorating a little bit later. Mason and Kason actually... Where is he going? Oh, my goodness. He's going upstairs. Like, come on now. Hold up. Let me get them. He like, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Let's teleport them here. Come on, little babies. He's waiting for a photographer all the way back there. So, they both should be coming. Uh, let's see. Where is... Okay, he's down here. Um, let's have him teleport right here. All right, perfect. Now let's try it now. I'm just trying to get a cute picture before school. They just grown so fast. You know, you want to just get a picture of them while they this small. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and cancel this one out. Where are y'all going? Okay, they're going all the way back here. Okay, I think it's about to work. Okay, period. 
Okay, they fall apart, but I guess this will work. Let's go ahead and get these um, angles. Let's get another pose. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Oh, too cute. Look at them. I guess she got to just change the angle up a bit. Let's see. Look, they up, like they up to no good. Oh, my two carous. I wish they were standing close together, but I guess I'll take this. Let me get each one of them individually. Let me see. Let's get me. Oh, look at him. Look at him. They just grown so, so much. I just can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. Taking pictures, our babies are growing so, so much. But I'm actually going to go ahead and drop the boys off at Miss Gladys. And we're going to hit the school. So I will see you guys once we get there. Okay, guys, we made it to school. Uh, we dropped the boys off. It is cold out there, y'all. We're just thinking about, like, what the hell we were thinking about wearing this top today. But we wanted to wear it, so that is that. So when it comes to our locker, we haven't been to school in so long. It feels so weird. So we come to our locker, and we're going to go ahead and, um, oh, it's, it's today exam day. Let's go ahead and freshen up a bit. Can we change? Oh, we can't change outfit. But I didn't realize our locker was right next to the bathroom. I don't know how I feel about that. But whatever, we're going to come here, go here. And we're going to go ahead and um, we got class in an hour and some minutes. We're going to go ahead and change into our leotard because we're going to go and do a little dance routine um we've been taking a dance class as one of our electives and we have really been enjoying it and so we're going to just practice some dancing this morning while we have free time we start to realize how much that you know we love dance like we did a lot of dancing growing up in school and so now we just want to you know dance a little more so we got our leotard so going on so Look at us in our leotard, y'all. Like, we said, we look good, period. Is this a mirror? Because we got out. Oh, I thought that was a mirror. So we could check ourselves out. But we're going to go ahead and go upstairs to um, this little area that I just made simply just for the dance floor. We're going to come up here and turn on some. Let's turn on some. What type of music should we dance to? Let's do some jazz. We're going to come up here and we're going to show off moves. We're going to do a. Let's do a, we can't just dance. Okay, I guess music needs to be playing first. So go here. Let's go here. So we're gonna go here and dance cause we just feeling like dancing today. You haven't danced in so long. Look at he looking at our butt. They're like, damn, she fat. Yes, we are y'all. We've been, we lost all our baby weight and we're just feeling good, period. You can't tell us nothing. My girl is looking so good in her leotard. I love it so, so much. So we've made it here. Y'all, we got here pretty quickly. We got like an hour and some change left. Is the music playing? Is it on? Listen to, okay, let's turn volume up to high. We're going to come over here and we're going to just do a... And we just, just come over here and dance. We just want to come over here and dance, you know. Just dance, because we're feeling good. I don't know what she doing, but that's not what we told her to do. <laughs> so we're going to go here, go here, and uh, we're going to change our outfit. That was pretty cool. Oops, don't belch. Don't be gross. Let's go ahead and change our outfit. So like every day. Let's go ahead and turn this music off. And we're going to go ahead and um, get ready for class, y'all. Let's see which class is ours. I think it's this one. Yep, let's go ahead and attend math class. 
We are back at it, y'all. Look at our royalties. Uh, we got Team Mom, $57. Chit Chat with Deanna, $123. Day in the Life, $128. And we also did a review on Baddies East. And we got $98 from that. So the money is coming in, okay? The ching a ling a ling is coming in. And I am so here for it. We're feeling happy. We're feeling good. We have no complaints. She's a little tense now. Oh, not, uh, what is this awful look? Raven can't stand rockers, so. though. So we're in class, girl. Look at her face. It looks like somebody ass steak. Like somebody steak. So we're gonna see what this teacher talking about. Okay. So we back in here again. Okay, she's like, we hate math. Math is not our strong suit at all. But we taking notes, she's uncomfortable having a bad time. <laughs> Girl, just take your notes. She is so over it. I'm over it right with her. Let's see, we won't eat some lunch today. Not our mama calling us while we in class. The boys are feeling pretty good. So that is good. We got, how much longer we got? We got 18 minutes left. 18 minutes left in class. She wants to clean the whiteboard and give Casey a hug. Oh. She want to give her Tukuru a hug. Aww. Too cute. Okay, we'll be able to give him a hug once we pick him up from school later on today. She's feeling good. She's like, ooh, class is over. Thank God. So we're going to go ahead and be friendly to Malcolm right here. Let's go ahead and... um discuss interest really quickly just so we could be a little friendly with him and then we're gonna go and get us some lunch let's come down here and let's go ahead and eat today let's get us a let's get us um a junior lunch let's do that let's go get a junior lunch She's like Michael did you understand that last so she said do you mind if I copy up your paper next time we got a test because everything she said was jibber jabber okay look at Yuki oh uh, he was like you cannot copy off my answers she's like they always say no child left behind I can't really you cheat off your paper for real so like, okay Malcolm I get it I get it you don't want to get in trouble I understand y'all she is having a bad time she does not want to be here and she's sad about evilness from good trait. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get some lunch, y'all. Let's go get some lunch. Like, Ugh, everything sucks. I cannot wait to graduate. School is not for me, okay? Don't get me wrong, my girl got good grades, but she does not like school with a passion. She said, hello, can I get um a junior lunch, please? Everybody, uh, I think this is our lunch. Let's take our lunch and go sit down and eat. Okay, where are you going to sit? Come sit over here in the cafeteria. Come sit. Okay, I have to say, where are you? Oh, she going to eat standing up? I guess she going to eat standing up. I guess that's what she wants to do. You know what? I ain't even going to, uh... I ain't even gonna knock her from one to finish eating. We should definitely reach out to, um, let's go ahead and send a DM. And we also going to, um, open Social Bunny as well. And she's very angry, oh my goodness. Like, sis, why are you so angry? So we got a new post. We're gonna post about lunch. Let's do a, a mean message. Let's also pose. Let's do a, I guess, okay. School lunch is okay. Let's do energize. Let's check our messages. Let's see if we got any new messages. Uh, let's see. Okay, we don't have anything recently. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and sit down. Look how she walking. You gonna sit next to Sydney? Oh, she gonna sit over here. She's like, hello. She said, girl, she is so angry. 
You gonna send her after you have one bite left? I do not understand. We're gonna definitely go ahead and send a DM to uh send a DM to Rylan. And then um we're feeling good for the most part. She does have to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna have her come up here and take an angry poop. Because I don't know why she's so angry. Like I don't understand. She is a little need a little hygiene. I'm gonna have her go ahead and wash her hands a few times. They want to come over here and try to calm down. Like, why are you so angry? We're going to go ahead and send a DM to Ryland just to confirm that we're still um, going to see each other tonight. I got to say we have cheer practice. Okay, we do have cheer practice. So, we'll be going out with him right after cheer practice, I guess. So, we're going to just let him know that um, we do have cheer practice today. And that um, we can head to Cheesecake Factory after that. Girl, I don't know why she, maybe it's her period is on. I think that's what it is. Cause she got a lot of mixed emotions. Y'all can see her morning started off happy. Now she's upset. Brave, I'm gonna need you to get it together, okay? Get it all the way together. So, um, now that she has an A, I think I'm gonna go to school with her every other day. That way, we don't have to get the same routine over because it's, once you get an A, it's pretty much the same thing every week. Is there music playing in here? Okay. Got music playing on the speaker. Period. Okay. So, we got to get ready for class. Okay, class is in session. Let's go ahead and go to class. She is not just not feeling it, y'all. It's that time. You know how I be when it's that time. I'm going to need her to get her act together because you are me and Rylan for the first time in person. And you don't need to be angry. You do not need to be angry at all. So we're headed to science class. And then after science class, we have cheer practice. And then after cheer practice, we're going to a first date with Rylan to the Cheesecake Factory. So hopefully that out works. I pray it works because, you know, y'all, it be acting up. And I just don't understand it. But look at her stomping in this class like this. Hey, I heard you came became friends with Malcolm Lambgrab. He's pretty cool. Yes, we have chip practice in an hour. So, yep, 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 yep. Let's go ahead and take some notes, girl. We got 18 minutes left. Look at her. She, she's just cramping. She's just so over it. Oh, look at all the grunts she's making. I'm not playing with her. She's very angry. We're having a really bad time. I'm weak that really isn't all caps. Alright, girl. You got five minutes of class left, and then we're going to be out of here. So, you only got to stretch it much longer. I'm, I'm going to have you come down here and probably come and grab hit angrily. I want to see that interaction. I was gonna tell her to grab an apple, but go ahead and hit the locker angrily, cause you angry, sis. Okay, Raven has completed the flex of goal-oriented aspiration. Raven seemed a little inattentive in class today. She should make sure her class skills are up before next week, y'all. Okay, guys, we're back. So I said Raven is performing superbly. She can graduate early if she talks to the principal or use the computer, which is what we already know. I actually wanted to look at her aspirations, so. Um, we did the first level of our aspirations, so it said the sim wants the best grades, check, sports check, money check, check, the road to success is being paid. The royal trait a high flyer. High flyer sims have the potential to be more successful, especially in business. So it said to join a side hustle, use a phone or computer and select find a job to get it promoted, complete promotion requirements and daily tasks. Use a phone or computer and select find a job to get a promoter, complete promotion requirement. So is a side hustle considered like getting a job? Okay, that's interesting to know. We might consider that. I mean, we in an after school activity, but I guess that's not really considered a job. I want to see her hit this locker angrily because she is so angry. I want to see her punch this locker. Oh, she didn't even hit it. Okay. We're about to have class. Don't be be insulted by monster. What? Go no. Go to class. Go to class. I don't know what you doing. No parts of that. That's the where's the front of this damn school? <laughs> I don't know what she doing, but we're about to go to class. But go to um chair practice. Teleport here. Uh. 
Go ahead and teleport. Um, there you go. All right, we're gonna go to um cheer practice. I didn't even realize we were a notable newcomer. All right, let's go ahead and um go to work. Is this not considered a side hustle being a cheerleader? We're gonna go ahead and go to cheer practice. So I will see you guys once we get home or when we get ready to go to our date. Hey guys, so we are back. Um, chair practice went okay. It was like a normal day at practice. I had to run a few drills. So it actually went over time because, you know, a few of the other cheerleaders thought that today was a game. And obviously we had to put them in their place, okay? So we went to cheer, drill practice, chair practice, whatever you want to call it. And now we're actually here at Cheesecake Factory and we see Ryland standing here. So we're going to go ahead and walk up to him. Um, this is our first time meeting our social media crush, and we're super excited. Um, the main goal in this gate is just to socialize with him. Y'all, this is the Rylan. He is so handsome. I think I did good with him, y'all. Ooh, he is a snack. Uh, look how she looking like. Oh, my God. Let's get this picture. She's like, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm, um... I'm, I can't even think of my name, girl. I'm stuck just like her. She's like, hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Raven. I'm here like, okay, can y'all um, sit together? So y'all, we at the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know, this lot is glitching. Like, at first it was set as a, um, at first it was set, look at Arby's right there next to us. At first it was set as, um, it was set as a restaurant, but then it was set as for only for like the hottest spot in town. They had to go and build more and change that, but now it's like we can't sit down. So we might actually just end up just sitting at the bar pretty much. She's like, nice to meet you. He's like, it's good to put a face to the name in person in the flesh. Let's go ahead and let's do some small talk. Let's go ahead and ask about his day. But like, how was your day? She's like, thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Let's go ahead and get this picture, y'all. Raven haven't been on a date so long. She's so nervous. And he was like, well, tell me about yourself. She said, well, my name is Raven. You piece, I don't want like what I see on your profile. I want to get to know you. She said, well, I'm a mom. I have two twin boys. I have twin boys. Their name is Mason and Casey. And they are two. He said, wow, so you're a single mom? She's like, yeah, I'm a single mom, and I pretty much, I live on my own, and I, you know, I pay my own bills, and I go to school, and I'm actually about to graduate in the spring. He's like, okay, well, that's nice to know. She said, tell me about yourself. He said, well, I actually, I actually graduated last year, so I'm a, I'm fresh out of high school. I'm just, um, you know, trying to get my feet wet. I want to get into, um chef. I'm a, I love to cook, so I really want to get into culinary school, and, um, Things like that. She's like, wow, that is pretty cool. That is nice. That is what's up. So we can go ahead. They're just talking and whatnot. And he was like, oh, wow. He said, well, I definitely commend a mom for doing what they got to do. He said, you are beautiful and stunning in person. She like, thank you. She's like, well, you want to go ahead and go to the bar because I want a drink. Like, I, I don't think we can, uh, I don't think we can uh, get a table or nothing. I don't know what's going on. Um, nobody's here at the bar. We're going to go ahead and hire um, can we hire a staff? Let's go ahead and hire a mixologist right quick. We're going to hire a Deanna as the mixologist. Um, I guess they're short staff, so they, you see the long wait in line. She's like, yeah, she said, yeah, you want to just sit at the bar? He said, said it's about like an hour, like a hour and a half wait. Like, we could just sit at the bar, honestly. Like, we only have to, you know, do all that. She's like, okay. So, um, our mixologist, um, let's also, um... We can also, let's flirt a little bit. Let's ask if single. Like he said, your profile says single. You're in my DMs. We talk pretty much every day nonstop since we met. Like she said, what are you looking for? She's like, I'm looking for um, somebody to call mine. I'm definitely looking for a committed relationship. Nothing for the short term, definitely long term. Oh, you're so fun to be around. really enjoy spending time with you and I love. Oh. Let's go over here. My girl Deanna is on the bar. Let's go ahead and sit together. She did tell us that she was a bartender. She's got a new job at um, Applebee's. So we're going to come over here and order drinks for the group. Um, Let's get us something good to drink. Let's get us... Hmm, let's get us some Sunset Valley. 
Y'all can't believe my girl Deanna is a mixologist at Cheesecake Factory. She been telling us that she was going to start a part-time job, y'all. So, I'm excited for her, y'all. We already reached our max for this date. He is single, so that is good to know. Um, he said, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. And I hope that you feel the way about me, too. She's like, hey, boo. She's like, I got a double round. Let's go ahead and sit and chat here. Let's um let's just talk a little bit, y'all. Um, Raven, how about you sit here? Sit here. Let's sit here. Um, you know, and enjoy. Let's talk a little bit more. Um, she's feeling very confident. Let's go ahead and um let's also let's have let's discuss interest. And I also want them to have a deep conversation, you know. Like, I feel like getting asked in a deep that he seems very mature. And she liked that about him. So, and I like that for her. So, I just want them to, you know, they're having a good old time and stuff. Their drink's almost ready. I love this for them. I'm trying to get a good picture, you know, at the bar. Yes, okay. Like, we didn't even. So, yeah. So, he's like, do you want children? More children. She said, I do. Um, he's, he's like, she's like, do you want children? He's like, yeah, I do. And um, he's like, so what's your goals after high school? She said, well, actually, originally, I wanted to go to um, community college, you know, to do general studies. But I'm realizing that um, school isn't for me. Like, I really don't really, you know, like school like that. Like, I thought that I would. Let's go ahead and exchange numbers. And um, let's go ahead. She says, I really think I want to maybe um, open my own dance studio one day because I love dance and I love to see. I feel like we don't have a lot of great teachers. <clears throat> we don't have a lot of great teachers. So she said, I think I could see myself being a dance instructor or something, you know. It's like, okay, what the hell is going on over here? You got two paranoid bitches over here. What is going on with y'all? So we drinking our drink, sipping on our drink. Can you go ahead and sit here? So she says, so I'm about to go pick up. So we did drop, we picked up our boys from, um, let's take a picture with him maybe. This is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can take a picture with him. But we picked up our boys from aftercare. We dropped them off at our um, mom house. And then we, um, he kissed his phone too. We dropped them off at our mom house and we um, came here. So we're going to go pick them up from there. But yeah, this day is going pretty good for the most part. Um, besides them not keep. Damn, I would have kept that to myself if I knew that. Mm, baby, you gonna get fired, baby. You gotta do better. You got to do better. Okay, they got a little romance bar. I'm here for it. Okay, look at that. Got a little romance. She's like, you wanna take a picture really quickly before we go? He said, I really have to go pick up my boys. I'm usually never out this late. He said, no, I understand. He said, I can, um, I can give you a ride back home. That way you don't have to worry about requesting a ride or whatever. Or wherever you want me to drop you off, I can give you a lift. So, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. So, we're going to go ahead and get the um, mom house. And we're going to head on home. That's a cute picture. Uh, that's cute. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's cute. Okay, she filling her drink a little bit. Okay. Let's move it up a little bit. Okay, so we got all our pictures. So I think we're gonna go ahead and um, in this drink, I mean in this drink, in this meal. So we're gonna go ahead and um, let's go ahead and give him a hug really quickly and thank him for everything. Um, let's go ahead and embrace him. Like, thank you for everything. Thank you for just, you know, just been a good listening ear, you know. It's really appreciated. He's like, thank you. Anytime. I really enjoyed myself. Like, for real, I really did. She said, well, I'll walk you out and stuff. So, we're going to actually go ahead and go here together. Go here together. Because y'all know they stop doing stuff together once you're in a date. And I don't got time. Our date is actually about to end in, like, less than an hour. But we're going to go ahead and go here together. He's like, go, go ahead to the car. Go ahead and pay the tab. This is a cool day. I really, really enjoy. You know, is he coming? 
Oh, he's coming. Look, she said, let me get my selfie really quickly, period. Yeah, I love my bob on my sis. Like, she looks so good. So, like, all right. So, he's like, don't worry. I'm about to go ahead and pull the car around. So, y'all, I'm going to see you guys once Raven get the boys from her mom's house. Because I'm going to make sure she never does anything wrong. Um, They had a good day. Mama said they were did pretty good. Um, she, but Raven feels like he's totally digging me from exchanging numbers, feeling close, good company, and a smooth sipping. Also wanted to see how she felt about him overall. So let's go ahead and look in that department. Um, I would say romantic interest is too early to tell, but there could be definitely something there. Closer from happy memories, Raven can't explain it, but she's really enamored and with Ryland, and the sight of him makes Raven hearts beat faster. I didn't even realize that both their names started with R. Like, I, I know I made, chose his name to be Ryland, but I just realized that. And Raven is crushing hard. Ryland is crushing hard on Raven. One thing I can say is that he's a very gentleman. He didn't even want to, he didn't even, they didn't even kiss on that first date. Like, they literally just gave a nice little hug, gesture at the beginning of date and the end. Like, they didn't even kiss. He was a gentleman. He brought her home. He didn't want nothing more but a good time. And when I say a good time, great conversation and things like that. And I think Raven actually really appreciates that because she really enjoyed herself. So, I'm going to have her come over here and put um, Case into bed. And then I'm going to actually have Mason go ahead and I'm just have him go up here. That way, give him time to get up there while mom put um, Mason to bed. But I think that she really enjoyed spending time with him. Um, it was good. It was different. You know, she's out of her comfort zone. You know, I cannot believe how much snow is on the daggone ground. Like, y'all, it literally was flurrying early. And look at the snow. There's much more snow than we got in real life of the, that last day. Like, uh, last week or the, I think last week, week before last, we had little snow flurries. And it was gone by midday. I was like, I don't understand it. But we're going to put the boys to bed because we got in pretty late. We want to make sure they um, have a good night's sleep. After we put her to sh I think she has Case. And so then we're going to put Mason to bed. After we put Mason to bed. And then we're going to go ahead and empty out this trash can. And then we're going to get ourselves together for a bit as well. We do have school tomorrow. I don't think we're going to school with Raven the next episode. Um, we're going to come and pee like a champion. We're going to take a nice bubble bath. We're going to brush our teeth. And we're going to um, apply a facial cleanser. We didn't do our homework, but I don't even think she's thinking about that. We're going to just sit and relax because we want to just think about how good our date went like it went so well and um we couldn't have asked for anything more like he was the perfect gentleman like i said and he didn't overstep you know and he was polite and i think raven really enjoyed that aspect of him like it wasn't no other guy like even her baby daddy you know they did it on the first night they met so this definitely was a change for her but i think that she had a really good time i enjoyed it i don't want to definitely rush into things she definitely can lay all her options on the table she doesn't have to put all her eggs in one basket but it was nice to be you know be taken out on a date and you know it was when he, you know he paid for everything i was it was cool that our girl deanna was our barista but she girl i mean our bartender but you know the drinks were poor so i don't know we gotta talk to deanna about maybe she needs to you know apply somewhere else you know we'll be having a nice little bubble bath because that's how we like it y'all and we yeah so we got um school tomorrow and then um yeah so i think we're gonna agree let's like this wait i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do it manually uh light controls turn on this light just so it could be lit up a little bit is it on no i don't think it's lit let me see uh light controls turn on this room okay i guess it's lit i don't know let me see let me turn off all the lights all lights let's go ahead and turn on this light okay it's lit now okay oh it look cute it looked better if we got some more ornaments on it, but it's coming together. But like I said, she had a good time, no love lost, and I just want them to, um, you know, get to know each other better, you know. But that was it. Um, today was a pretty good day. I don't know, my girl had a rough day at school, but it ended off on a good note once she came home. 
But my girl is feeling super playful bubbles. There are a few things in The Sims life that can't be fixed with bubbles, okay? She's loved um, from Tucker, a toddler, smooth sipping. Um, she's also feeling um, perfection is zeal, sparkly surrounders, and the totally digging me at trait or aspiration. She is a little hungry because we didn't get any food. Like, we didn't get to eat. We just kind of got went there for drinks. So... We're going to actually come in here and um, grab some leftovers because we are extremely hungry. Um, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Like she's coming down here to get something already. Let's get us some... What do we have? Let's get us some breadsticks. Let's do that instead. Something on our tummy. And then that's going to be pretty much it. Like she's not even that tired, so... Yeah, I think we're probably going to end this episode here with her eating breadsticks at 4 a.m. in the morning, you know? You know, so we definitely going to have to text and let them know we made it home. I know I love leaving, I don't know why, but I love leaving my Sam's on um, with them eating. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Y'all know I love my girl Raven, and, you know, I had to bring, come back because... Raven is probably one of my top favorite Sims that I've created and actually play with. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you guys think about Rylan in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.